Um, I just wanted to find out, what, what yeah. is your intention for, no, no, from we, today? No, no, they're all marching up there, yeah. and we're just going to join, leave the space, right. and just, okay. just stand behind. Oh, right. and okay, no worries. And um, nothing else. Okay, sounds That's good all. to me. <laughs> it's yeah. easy. All right. yeah. No, 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 it's just, just bringing, yeah. making people aware, and yeah. just to remind Keith Winchuttle that... Um, He's tell, he don't know history properly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, no, uh, I certainly understand talk. what no, you're talk. doing. I just obviously, um, I'm just well, I'm yeah, no, concerned really about what the reaction might be rather than what you're doing. It's a tour in book tour around the country. Yeah. And so we just want to add another chapter to this here because it's you know it's a healing process and all yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, I understand that entirely. But other than that, it's just a yeah. just a silent sort of little thing where people can see well, and, that, and that's good. That sounds good. Good on you, mate. <laughs> good. Yeah. No well, you enjoy your day like everyone else does. Not a problem. Good Thanks on you, mate. We've been dying on this soil for many hundreds of years now since the white man came and we've been doing that in defense of our land. They've had the superior force and mightier weapons but they've never been able to conquer us, you know, and um, they've been able to imprison us, jail us and all that sort of stuff, but we've never acquiesced, we've never ceded sovereignty and, um, and we are in defense of our day, land every day of the week. This is a hidden war, it's a war of stealth, and unfortunately, when we want to remind people of this, then people take offence and they call it a protest. This is not a protest, this is just being totally respectful of the fact that our people have got a message to relay and Australia cannot keep hiding it. Like at Hospital Creek in north, nine, kilometers, nine miles north of Brewarana, we want to excise that land there because the human bones are still visible, and that's my ancestry. They were shot at this place. Elements of Australia's you know, forgotten wars. Doing the same as last year? Yeah, mate, just up to the top and, and finish yeah. at the top up there yeah. where we finished last year. Oh, well, no, not a problem. <laughs> good on you, you mate, have a thank good you. Day, won't you. I will. 1918. Can you go on that side over there, please? Just to, so they can see how recent that was. <laughs> We're no longer invisible, folks. <laughs> Any other day.
march? As we march. Yes. What are you doing today? What's your point? We're just reminding the people that a lot of Aboriginal people died on this soil, spilling their blood in defence of their land. You, and this is an appropriate place to do it, an appropriate day? I think it's an appropriate time because it's a day that we remember the dead. And we remember people who fought in wars. And um, we can't forget our war here. That continues to go. So, I mean, obviously you, you don't have an official status in this march. Is that disappointing to you? Well, I think it will grow. It's like everything else. You know, from little things, big things grow. So, um, And we're just reminding Australia that it has a, has a history. And are you hoping to walk all the way up here and join all the other ex-service personnel, etc.? No, we stay at the road. Just, you, that'll be enough for you? That's enough for and us. And that's because you feel you've made your point, you don't want to, you don't Absolutely. Want to defend or anything? Absolutely, yeah. And our point is made, and, and we just want to tell the people that, um, you know, this is a day that we need to remember as well, and it cannot be forgotten, because there's too much forgotten in this country, yeah. And we need to bring the history out and make the public much more aware. Good yeah. to talk to you. Thank you. And it's not a protest, by the way. <laughs> it's not a protest. So, so how would you start a commemoration? A commemoration. Yeah. And, uh, no what, worries. What about those people that say maybe it's not appropriate on uh, Anzac Day? Well, it's a day that we're remembering the dead, isn't it? We're remembering people who fought in wars, and um, and I have, you know, I had a lot of family who, who fought in wars and died, and they're buried overseas. Um, they went in those wars, but they came back and were second-class citizens and um, had to return to reserves because they were wards of the state, and they went back home and their white mates that they fought with got soldier settlement grants and they were never compensated for their efforts in the war. And the RSL is still burying people um, and a lot of our people are buried in unmarked graves out there and the RSL should be out there um, looking for those people and burying them properly. My name's Greg Ansel and you saw here all How are you? Good, thanks mate. I'm uh, just interested in, particularly in the response you got there. You had applause all the way up. Were yes we did. Were you expecting that? No, we got shocked last year. Sorry? We got shocked last yeah. year at the applause <laughs> yeah. and, and it was great. No, it's a, it's a, People understand that this is not a protest. They read the signs. I think the public are um, a little bit more, you know, uh, knowledgeable and a lot more tolerant than the politicians and the administrators um, truly think. And it, it's a healing for us to see that that acceptance and that they will do that. Yeah. Courage, teamwork, perseverance against adversity, fairness and compassion. These are the qualities the Australian community and the ADF share. Not only killed the Barrett Barn Ninja people, my people, but they all they um, butchered us. 400 of these tribes from around Bawarana, um all come together for a big corroboree. And the farm owners found out about it, so they all came there and they butchered it. Still to this day, if you go to that tree, and dig around, you, you will find bits of human bone. What happened during the frontier period is mass killings. They were slaughters. They were murder. Yeah? There are dead people everywhere. There's, there's sites um, all over Australia where massacres occurred. Okay. And these massacres occurred primarily because the farmers uh, and got their posses together. And then they went out and they killed the people to move them off the land, clearing the land of the blacks.
Look at all the, all the archival data associated with the government and the, and the governors at the time. The governors did not declare war. What they did do in some parts was to declare martial law. Now martial law is not war. Martial law is putting down a resistance. Most people have a fairly good general idea of some of the reasonably exact coordinates of where these things have happened. I think we need to put up memorials at this place because um, there are no memorials. We are now planning to spread the word much more widely this year, leading up to 2015, April 2015, when the thousands of mainstream Australians gather at the War Memorial in Canberra to celebrate the significant 100th year of the battle at Gallipoli. What would it take for you to let us through, Constable Chapman? With more communication around the country, that we can encourage all Indigenous people who understand to become more informed about why this march is so important. Aboriginal people never laid down when people came into their country. They resisted the best way they could. And of course the Crown sat idly by watching this happen and where Aboriginal people became st too strong, sent in military forces. You died for everyone that's walking here, proclaiming peace and justice for all. Shame on the country for not allowing an Aboriginal man to honour his heritage and his right for peace and justice of this land. 2015 is the centenary of Australia's participation, they say, in the major wars. And I think it's time that, as part of that, we also take time to reflect the suffering that happened on the mainland of Australia. Australia was not settled peacefully. It has the most horrible history of genocide and war crimes against the people and crimes against humanity than you will ever find anywhere else in the world. You can go as far as the next intersection, OK? That's all I'm going to let you do. Until the bark moves on, please. Stop as well. No, no, no. Well, you I'm can, going to you march can, with my mates. You can remove that flag. I'm going to march with my mates. I serve with my mates. I'm going to march. You take another step and you'll be arrested for a breach of the peace. I'm not breaching Take the another peace. step and you'll be arrested for a breach of the, the peace. peace. I am going to You can to put march. your flag down and you can go and join your mates up there, okay? You can put your flag down. This is my flag that I serve No, with. it's not a military flag. It's not part of the parade, okay? It is. This is not a day for you. Mate, I've served my country for over 30 years and I'm not marching with mine, so chill out. Yeah, Okay? What people are yours? Hey? What people are yours? The two arms and two legged one. Okay. Do you, do you, I'm going to march no, no, with a submarine. I just need somewhere to put it. Just in right, yeah, pop it over there. Okay, that's alright. Yeah. Do you want. Mate? Crafty. Do you want me to go up with this in case that flag yeah. comes out? Don't take the flag out, dude. If you take the flag out, it will Yep. I walked up and was this You're Gordon. stopping him from marching because he is I Aboriginal. I walked up. That is racism. Up, Let him go. I walked up with a police escort to the, to the um, Canberra Submarine Association and then I walked back. Yes, that's right. I didn't okay. march. And we okay. explained to you this right. land is under the control of the RSL at the moment. Well, that's fine. If you're not part of an authorised march, they do not let you on well, there. Well, okay. I'm a member of the RSL. I am also a member okay. of the RSL. What law did I break by wanting land. to march with the people that I have served with? Okay. Who served this country? All right. Go away over there with your Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Please make the law around get here. On you, mate. They were desperate to get out of that. Billy's name. Well done. I cannot march in a march to celebrate my grandfather, my great uncle who was refused a VC on the Kokoda Trail, Harold West. Harold West is the person who started and commemorated the Black Diggers March in Sydney where they are marching now. I cannot march in this parade to commemorate my, my people. Because you're Aboriginal. Because I'm Aboriginal. Listen to me now. Listen to me. Have the decency to listen to me. Yes. If you continue yes. to dress in this fashion with this amount of noise, yes. 
you will be arrested for breaching the press, okay? okay? No. I served this country. Oh, I'm just telling you now. I served, I served on behalf of all the black people as well in this country. Uh, an incident here. Okay, and I'm not allowed to march. So, so could you lay that wreath on my behalf? Yeah. Why not? Okay, I'm telling you now. If you can you get somebody down to lay this wreath on my behalf? In this manner of behaviour, you'll be arrested for breaching the press, okay? I'm Today is I'm the 100th anniversary of Anzac. I know, my, my grandfather served. Will respect the day. And I respect my grandfather. And I respect. And I respect. And I also respect all the Aboriginal people that serve. You're a racist, mate. Listen up. Hey! If that fellow want to keep mouthing off, tell him to go. From now on, it's just going to be a silent vigil here, no noise, right? And we just have the boomerangs and just the, and the clap sticks because that's part of our ceremonial thing. You can just have that. But we just stand in silence. And if you want to break that silence, you're disrespecting our orders. And let's just stand here in peace and let's make this a silent protest, a silent now, because what we need to do, eh? They're provoking the young people yeah, no, too. But the thing is, if we stay in the line and we start, just stay in the silence, with this here, because those cameras up there can't miss this sign, okay? So let's just keep it quiet and let's just make sure that we do the right thing for ourselves, okay, and our mob, okay? Right out. So let's just, no noise, no shouting. No screaming. That's my thing.